Hi Year 12, Dr Burgess here and today we are going to be building on the work that you did with Mrs Miller related to mitosis. So if you remember you did about uh, mitosis um, and also I believe you did the required practical as well. So for this lesson I am going to, to uh, concentrate on these two things here. So firstly, I'm going to talk about binary fission in prokaryotic cells, and then I'm going to talk about viruses and how they don't undergo cell division, and talk about how they uh, infect host cells and replicate using the machinery of the cells that they have infected. So in prokaryotes, such as bacteria, cell division does not involve mitosis or meiosis as it does in eukaryotes. So bacteria re reproduce asexually, so that means a genetically identical copy by binary fission. So let's take a look at this animation. So here is a bacterium and inside it you can see the different parts of the bacteria. So you've got the loose DNA, so it's not in a nucleus, um, the cell membrane, the cell wall, um, and the cytoplasm. So the first thing to happen is that the DNA is going to copy itself. Both copies, they stay attached to the cell membrane. And then the bacterium grows longer. As it gets longer, the two strands of DNA are separated and they move to the far ends of the cells. You then can see them starting to separate out and then eventually split. So now the single bacteria cell is divided into what we call two daughter cells. And they, have each the, they each have the same identical copies of DNA. So this process is pretty fast and some bacteria can double every 10 minutes under optimum conditions. And it does look a bit like mitosis, but it's not, and that for several reasons. So there's no nucleus, um, obviously, there's no chromatids either, and no spindle fibres. So here's a diagram of uh, bacteria undergoing undergoing binary fission. What I'd like you to do is to write some notes, so without looking at the video, I'd like you to write some notes about how this occurs. Okay, so on this is prokaryotes and prokaryotes. The first thing to say is that viruses are non-living. So in the textbook um, of definition of life, they are non-living. The other thing to remember is that they can only reproduce inside host cells. This is really important. Um, obviously with what's going on with coronavirus at the moment, you'll know that uh, they talk a lot about um, physical isolation and also um, people are isolating, keeping two meters away. That's because the virus needs, they can only, can only keep doing what it does inside a host cell. So if it can't get into a host cell, then it will degrade um, in the environment. And it's quite sneaky in terms of its general strategy is to um, gain access. So it gains access into the cell, okay? And then it injects um, its viral DNA into the host cell and it Oh, it takes over. It takes over the cell uh, to um, produce more of the virus, and then it eventually bursts out the cell, therefore destroying the, the host cell. So, it's about what we call the lytic cell. So, it's just the process by which a virus overtakes a cell and uses the cellular machinery of its host to reproduce. And then it shows the copies of the virus filling the cell, bursting out, destroying the cell, and releasing the virus to infect more cells. Okay, so first of all, you get um, early infection. So the virus, virus attaches to the bacterium. It then injects its DNA into, this case it's a bacterium, so it's not a virus in this case, but uh, it's the same for a bacteria. 
and then the viral DNA uses cellular machinery to reproduce itself. And then the components of the viral protein coat are produced from genes in the viral DNA. And then the viral particles self-assemble into new viruses. And then the viruses overrun the host cell and they burst free, causing lysis or lysing and killing the cell. When I talk about viral DNA, sorry, I also mean viral RNA. So it can be DNA or RNA. So this is a... This is a quick summary of how um, viruses attach and take over host cells and replicate. So um, as we learnt about uh, viruses that they have attachment proteins which allows the virus to identify and attach to the cell and then it penetrates it injecting its viral DNA or RNA um, and the viral coat remains outside and then there's replication of the nucleic acids inside the host cell and then they start to synthesize new protein coats within the host cell. So they take over that cell and use the machinery within the cell to do that. And then they assemble mature viruses and then they release and they rupture the cell, um, causing many, many more viruses to be released into the host. OK, I'd like you to have a go at these questions, please. So this is the first set of questions related to binary fission, I would like you please to make sure you pause before uh, you move on. So pause now. And here are the answers. So if you pause and check your answers please. And a question related to how new viruses are produced. So again, in a second, you're going to pause. So I'd like you to pause now. And here is the answer. OK, that's all from me. So uh, if you have any questions, then please do email me okay i hope you found that useful let me know if you need anything else and i will speak to you very soon